Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Viper, and this is episode 6 of Tips and Tricks with Viper, and we're going to be covering in this episode kind of how to um, use the target camera and how to attach it to a spline, and from there we can, um, we can uh, basically make our camera movements a lot smoother and a lot more controllable, and it's very easy. Um, so I just have opened my regular Lightroom that I use for everything. It's in my... Um, it's in my uh, motionology pack, but um, you guys can pretty much use anything for this. This is just going to be walking. I'm just going to walk you through what you have to do. Um, so right now, I'm actually just going to merge um, the phase logo in or the sore logo. I'll pick something, and so we can have some sort of actual uh, what do you call it? There it is. Some sort of like point to uh, rotate it around. So. If we kind of scale this down a little bit and we drag it to the center, this is a huge thing. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we have it here. Now, obviously, just extrude everything, do the normal, whatever. I'm not going to do any like. Okay, so once you have it here, you obviously, you can rotate around, but we're not going to do that. We just need to delete the camera that we already have. If you don't even have anything, that's fine. So now you're going to see something like this. You're going to click and hold on your camera thing, um, the camera button, and you're going to get three options, stereo, target, and just regular. You're just going to want to get the target camera. And from here, you're going to have um, position, size, and rotation down at the bottom under your keyframe and auto keyframe stuff. You're just going to want to change all of the position, the position X and Y to zero, and the rotation um, all of them to zero as well and just hit apply now go ahead and check the uh, the little black square so it turns white and from here um, you can zoom in on it so we have a little bit um, so it becomes a little bigger and then from here we're just gonna hit keyframe alright so as you see we have this little tart um, this camera target null um, and that's to uh, basically make whatever uh, we want our target to be in this null and I usually delete it it doesn't really matter but you'll see this um, this tag on the camera right here it'll say target op object and then it'll have an arrow a um, little like uh, circle and then an arrow with it click that and then it'll have a question mark next to your cursor and then just check the extrude nerves for our phase um, logo or whatever logo you're using so now if we ever rotate oh we can't but um, that's fine so it will, it will need it later um, right click on your camera and then go down to um, uh, align to spline I think yeah align to spline and then get a circle and you can use really any kind of object for this but I'm using a circle this is what I do every time um, so hit apply make sure the P on the rotation is 90 so it's flat and one sec um, we're going to increase the size of this by a lot and all we have to do from here is click on the align to spline tag and we're going to do the same thing we kind of did for the target camera but click the arrow and select the circle and now you'll see that we're attached to this circle spline and to rotate around whatever we're doing to rotate along the path or the spline or whatever you can bump up the position and you will rotate around it and this is very controllable and very nice looking um, it's very smooth movements, nothing ch too choppy or anything. It's very nice. So once we have this, we can really experiment and do whatever we want with it. Um, you can continue to zoom in, zoom out, just by um, just by increasing the scale on the uh, circle. Um, we can also change options in here um, in the actual like circle. Like I said, you can do this as well. Um, and then the position just um, determines where on the spline we are. And if you want to look at it straight, usually you should be at about 25% position. And yeah, that's really it. Now the rest is up to you guys on what you would want to do. So honestly, we can um, we can make some uh, kind of cool movements. A lot of you have asked me what I usually do uh, when I do this. So I'm going to go through usually what I do. I usually start off with just um, rotating the logo um, either having it in the scene already or sometimes I have it move up or move into the scene um, kind of like a surprise or something like that but uh, usually I just have it in the scene so what we'll do is we're gonna come over to 120 frames we're gonna hit keyframe 
uh, make sure you're selecting the NURBS. Go over to zero, and we're just going to do this. I'm going to spin it around twice. Okay, and then hit keyframe again. And if we play it, honestly, it's just going to look like a spinning logo. What? But that's, that's not what we need yet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to get the circle. We're going to come to 120. We're going to hit keyframe. We're going to go back to zero. And well, actually, go back to 120. Um, you're going to hit command or control, whichever one you're using. Um, so hit the little radius um, little check mark here and it should turn red. And then go back to frame zero and zoom in on it. So you're really up close with it. And then you'll have a little yellow box. Just hit Command or Control click and it'll turn red. So now if we play it, we have something like this. But even then, that's not, that's not enough. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go along the um, position of our spline or where our camera is on the spline. And we're going to hit... Um, Command or Control click on the position at 120 frames. We're going to go all the way back and we're going to rotate to about 100. And we're going to hit Command or Control click to turn it back to red. And if we play this, it's going to be a lot of spinning. And technically, we don't really want that. So to slow it down, it's actually really easy. We're going to come to about 40 frames, right? And we're going to select. Um, I guess our, we will have to do it manually. We'll select our circle radius and we'll hit command or control click. And we're going to do the exact same thing for our position at this exact same frame. We're going to hit command or control click. So now we'll have a little keyframe down here. Um, and from here, I think that's it. We can do this if we want here. I guess we will. So you can also come to your um, extrude and go ahead and hit keyframe. And now each one of these will have a point or a keyframe at 40 frames so one second um, so what you're gonna wanna do is go back um, to it is you can use your circle and we're gonna uh, click the keyframe and we're gonna drag that keyframe to 90 okay and we're gonna do the same thing actually we'll drag it to 80 that's reasonable we're gonna do the same thing for the phase drag it to 80 and we're going to do the exact same thing for the spline, or the, uh, yeah, the little spline tag here. And then if we play it, it's going to look something like very clean. Now, the only thing I don't like is that this spins one too many times. So what we're actually going to do is if we come to here, it's at... 500, so we're going to make it at 270 right here. So if we make this 270 and hit apply, uh, that doesn't work, so we're going to spin it again to 360 and hit apply. That's what I meant. So hit 360, hit apply, hit keyframe, and now it'll look a little better. So if we play it, it's going pretty smooth. And we have this really nice, just clean movement of something like that. So as you can see, we're, we're kind of like up close first, and then we zoom back out real fast. And to change that, I'm actually going to go back to our circle. And um, I think you know what we want. I want us to, I'm going to bump this up to about 110. So let's see, you, you can literally just mess around with this and see what happens. And yeah, that actually looks cooler, maybe even bumping it down to like 90. You literally just mess with these keyframes. Um, but remember, the thing that you should keep in mind is to remember to have uh, start lower when you hit your keyframe. And then um, if you're using like the circle or the extrude nerves, start at like a lower frame and then drag all those frames up like 50 to 60 frames and it, you will start out slow and from there you will speed up once you hit that um, wherever you put the keyframe. Um, that's just a tip and that's something you guys probably have been wondering about. Uh, but yeah, this movement is really simple and um, it looks great. Uh, another thing you can also do 
is after here, uh, let's go to like 100, like 200 frames actually. We're going to come to here and we're going to make the position zero. Yeah, there we go. Or actually, we'll make it 17. And hit the uh, commander control click. And if we play this, it's going to look pretty sweet. So you can kind of see how it expands even a little more to the right instead of just stopping at here. It kind of gives it a little more movement. And from here, we're also going to go to 200 frame. And we're going to hit our circle. And we're going to zoom out a little bit. And from here, hit the uh, little control or, control or command click, whatever. And that's good. We're going to go to here. And actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to zoom back in a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're going to hit that. Uh, Commander, control, click. Sorry, I'm on a Mac, so I have to keep saying it out loud for you guys. So if we play this, it's going to look something like this. Boom. It looks really nice. And what we can do with this circle, we're actually going to bump this up to like 250. Just so it goes a little slower. And you'll see something like this. Looks really nice. And yeah, that's just um, basically how to do some smooth uh, camera movements and using the spline uh, little tag, the uh, align to spline, as well as a target camera. A lot of you guys have been asking how I do that. And you also can do one more trick. I'll tell you real quick. I think we're at a, a 11 minutes, yeah. But what you can actually do is go ahead into your, um, huh, where would it be? Yeah, click your circle and go into your coordinates. And if we get out of our camera view, it'll be a little easier. Coming to something like uh, right about here, we're going to just hit the keyframe button. Or you can use um, the automatic keyframe. We're going to use automatic keyframe, hit keyframe right here. And then come back to here. And we're just going to rotate up or down. Actually, let's go up. And then hit keyframe. Boom. Play this back. And you can kind of see what it's looking like right here. So if we play it, we'll see that we'll actually have some tilt to it, which is really cool. So yeah, that's basically it, basically it guys. Um, if you guys have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll answer it. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. And be sure to comment what you guys want to see next week. Um, next week, I may be hitting 4K, so I'll be doing a pretty cool surprise. Just uh, wait for that. It'll be really awesome. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, again, just leave a like, comment, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.